Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Wednesday should have been Tuesday craft day. Uh, yesterday we had an appointment to keep. Uh, it was a good appointment, nothing spectacular. Um, my husband needed to get a new cell phone so we went to the dealer, the dealer being the carrier that we use, and picked up a new iPhone for him. And uh, it was it, you know, it's when you do, I, I should have remembered, but I didn't. It's a good two hour job when you go to one of those places and they have to look all this up and they do all of this and back and forth and back and forth. Um, so, anyway, and then when we got home, what we had is an empty phone because they were dividing the contract. And, and just make a long story longer. He had nothing in his phone, and I had to put all of his apps and so on and so forth in it, which took me the rest of the afternoon, basically, by the time you look these all up and get them in. So anyway, we're all situated now, and he's got his new toys to play with, and I've got toys to play with. Well, I haven't got my new one yet. This is the 9th, I believe, of June, and I think the 10th is when the new crickets come out. So I'll be looking forward to that. Now, uh, this week, today and Friday, we're going to be doing some bow making. And the funny thing is, I had planned this and had um, started doing some of the prep work for it. And then I looked and everybody else was doing bow making. I said, we must all have the same thought process or something. But anyway, we're going to do some bow making because... You know, the wreaths are one thing, but then you want to decorate it with some pretty bows. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I thought I'd share with you a couple of ways of making bows for your wreaths. Today we're going to make two funky bows. And we're going to make it in two different ways. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. The first way is the original funky bow. Now to my knowledge, the original funky bow was developed by Jilly Samako over at Southern Charm Wreaths, who's an extremely talented creator. And the reason she made this bow and called it, well, she called it funky because it was kind of odd looking. It had all kinds of different ribbons in it. But the reason she made it is because she had, like most of us, pieces of ribbon left, not long enough to do a whole wreath with, but you don't want to really throw them away if you don't have to. So we're going to show you how to do that funky bow. And then the second one is the one that I would call more organized, where we're going to make a nine loop funky bow. And we'll just show you how easy it is to put that together. Now, my second one is a Christmas ribbon bow because I just figured I might make one and put it aside because there will be something to put it on later. So let me get you situated so you can see the, the table well, and we'll get busy on a couple of funky bows back in a second. Okay, here we are down at the table. I think you've got a pretty good view here. Now, this first row is, uh, bow is the one that came from Julie Samako. And I have here six different pieces of ribbon, okay? And I'm sure you've seen these ribbons before, not too long ago. They're ribbons that I have made uh, bows and things for different wreaths. But if you look, over well, this one is, is kind of short. That's literally all that was left on the roll. And this one is fairly long. This one's not as long as some of them. They're all different lengths and it really doesn't make a difference because we're going to create a pretty bow out of these leftovers. And I'm going to start with uh, this floral one. And what I'm going to do is to take, I think I'm going to do about a seven inch tail. Now, I'm not even going to trim the bottoms of these yet because I'm going to wait to see um, how long I want them because the tails will be all different lengths. And then I'm going to make a six-inch loop, so I need to do 12, uh, 12 inches. And let me see, 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I'm going to go 15 to 27. You see I'm measuring. And I'm going to come back up. And I'm going to make another. Now see those two are totally different than each other. Okay. So let's do the next one. I am going to do about seven inch tail and this time I'm going to go down. Okay. Now I'm going to do a six inch loop and I'm just going to pinch it up again and I'm going to go up. Okay. Now we can check to see that these are the same. And I'm putting that one in next to this one and turning the back one around. And that's really long. That'll be trimmed. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one I'm going to do seven inch tail. And I'm going to go back up again. 12 inch, 6 inch loop. And see, I will trim some of these when we're finished, but um, I just took them off the bolt the way they came off. Seven inch. This is going up. 12 inch to make a 6 inch loop. And I think I want that one to go the other way. Okay. Okay. Seven inch. This one's going up. And pinch that one together. Okay, and there's the last one. Now the last one's short, so we'll see what we can get. Keep that same tail. We'll go down. And there we go. So now I'm going to take a zip tie. And I'm going under my thumb, okay, and I'm coming around the back, getting all my tails out of the way. And I'm going to put in a oh, green pipe cleaner in here, or green, I think that's green, I don't know, <laughs> in this light. And now we're going to pull it tight. So now, Now this pink one, this pink ribbon is a little flopsy. Probably should have made five inch loops, but. But this is how. You 
see if I could get, maybe I'll, I'll go and get a wreath to put this on. All right, now I've got all these tails. So I'm just going to trim these. Some not, some not as long as others. And And this one is kind of long, so we're, but we're going to leave it a little longer than the other. And my two little bicycle ones are short. And what's cute about this ribbon bow is that it is all different ribbons. And I have opportunity to use up a lot of ribbons. I mean, you don't mind throwing away a piece this size. And one more. Nope, oh, two more. And there you go. Now, um, I'm going to get something to set this on so that you can get a better view of how it will look on a product. Just a second. Okay, I have it here on a green swag. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to roll this a little bit. There's two of them that are long, so we'll roll them and just give them a little shush. Oh, three of them, which is good. There's one on each side. And over here. So there you go. Isn't that a pretty bow? Of course, pay no attention to the swag. It's not prettied up, but anyway. So there you go. That is a funky bow. A funky bow being all different ribbons, the leftovers, and you just make a pretty funky little bow with all your leftover ribbons. Let me just see if I can get you up a little bit. Isn't that pretty? All right, let me just get this out of my way and we'll go on to funky bow number two. All right, here we are with funky bow number two now. The reason I said this is a little more organized is I've got three ribbons and three pieces of each ribbon. So we're going to be making a nine loop funky bow. And this is the kind of funky bow that most of the crafters seem to be making now. Although I kind of like that other one and that it certainly does what it's supposed to do. And that's use up the rest of your ribbon. So with this one, the easy part about this is you can take the ribbon and just and I've already dovetailed the ends, just fold it in half. Now this ribbon is all cut at about 25 inches. Fold it in half, I'm going to make a 5 inch loop and I'm going to pinch it with that 5 inch loop. Okay? I'm going to take the back one and I'm going to twist it around because I want all pretty this way. And 
next one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll still do it. Okay, I've folded it in half. I'm going to make a five inch loop. Okay, now I'm going to just switch these around because I want the one and a half in between the two, two and a half. So this way, okay? So one up, one down. And twist the back. And these are the same, okay? And then we'll go to the other two inch, fold it right in half, measure a five inch loop, and bring it up. Back to the first one, fold it right in half, measure a five inch loop, pinch it together, and this one's going to go upside down. And so you see, I have one going up and one going down. Get that pretty side out. Now sometimes these, when you go to put them together, um, the, they get twisted back the other way, but they're wired so you can twist them any way you need to. Now we'll do the one and a half. <laughs> I can tell this is Christmas ribbon. You know why? There's glitter all over my table. <laughs> Five inch loop. This one's going up. One going down, and one going up. And they're going in next to each other, not on top of each other. And then the last one of this row, fold it in half, find a five inch loop, pinch it, and put it upside down. Make sure it's turned around. One time more through. <laughs> Glitter City Ribbon. Five inch loop. And I'm going to go up this time. Take the back one and turn it around. The one and a half. Twenty this. I'm going up. I'm going to be going down this time. inch loop and up turn the back one and you got a handful of ribbons all right same thing I'm going to take this zip tie I'm going under my thumb Get it around to the back. Okay. 
and I have a red pipe cleaner for this one. There's a mess of ribbons. <laughs> okay. Well, I should have nine loops here. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to pull the loops to the front hand try to get the um, tails down okay. and you can twist these and try to get your tails in between each other a little bit. One of the Christmas ribbons do sparkle, don't they? Oh, another green one. Let's see if we can get that one over here. There we go. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? So let's put this on the other end of that swag and we'll see how this one looks. And these uh, tails are not too long for this, so I'm not going to trim them at all. And they're basically pretty close to being the same size. So there you go. I'm going to bring you up a bit, just so I can hold it up. Look at that. And of course you'll fiddle with it another half hour. <laughs> but not on camera. So there you go. There's Funky Bow number two. And I'll call this the Organized Funky Bow. And this is the Leftover Funky Bow. The original Funky Bow. So there you go. Now I'm just going to set this swag in my closet. And when I want a bow to use, I'll just take it off the swag and put it on my project. This can probably go on a lantern, and this will go obviously on a wreath when we get a wreath or some other project when we get closer to the holidays. So, let me just turn myself around. There we go. Bounced you a little bit. So, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It's not hard to make bows. Um, and if you're using the leftover ribbons, it's so nice not to have to throw that much ribbon away. You would have thrown that away because it's not enough to make a bow on its own for a wreath. It's not enough to make the little pieces that you put in your ties. And so you end up throwing that away. But this way you make a pretty bow by just using a bunch of the leftover pieces. And as long as they all have some little bit of coordinating color, you know, they don't have to be exactly the same. You can put plaids with stripes with, you know, solids and bigs and littles. Um, just be careful. Now, my one of those ribbons on there was a little floppy. And you want to be careful that the larger the loop you make, the stronger the wire in the ribbon needs to be. 
because if it's not a strong wire, it'll just kind of flop over. This one just makes it okay, but I probably, I made these loops six inches, and if I made them five, I wouldn't have had that issue. So, there you go. That is Bow Making 101, Episode 1. And Friday, we're going to be doing a couple of other kinds of bows. And we'll probably use a bow maker for one. And then I'm going to bring you back in time and refresh your memory of how you decorated your packages when you were a little kid. At least how I decorated my packages when I was a little kid. And way before they ever had these packages of bows you could buy to put on presents. So until then, until Friday, I hope you all have a great afternoon. Uh, stay safe, play by the rules, and keep warm or keep cool or keep dry or, or jump in the pool. It's a heat index of 97 here today. Very, very humid. Boy, it's just too early for that right now. But it's been that way basically since May. So I hope you all have a great afternoon, and I'll see you again Friday. Until then, hit that subscribe button, the bell, and play nice now. See you Friday. Love you. Bye-bye.